This is Dear Mother Placid, help me with my work. Whisper in my ear when I need to make an artistic decision. Guide my hand to write, to compose, to draw, to paint images that will thrill and move children and all others to be filled with the love of God. Help me teach others when they look at my work, as you taught me through all those many years. Let them feel deeply God's love, too, through you and Our Lady. And let me never forget, love is never too much. So be it, your brother, Tommy. Thank you. You're welcome. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I look about my career as my vocation, um, not, not as a job, but as what I was put on this planet at this time to do. I love it when people say, oh, it must be so much fun. No, it is not fun. It's very, very hard work. And I take it very seriously. And especially since it's really aimed at children, only the very best is good enough for children. And I really do believe that. You know what I'll do is I'll show you how I de develop my line. All my work basically starts with line drawings for quiet. I did line drawings first, and then I colored in like a coloring book. But the line for me, I have to do, do it three or four times. And when I'm drawing a line, I know that this line here is a neck, and it's going to be behind his collar. And I have that in my head. So I'm seeing, even though this is two-dimensional, I'm kind of seeing in my mind's eye three dimensions. Right, right. And then with this, with this um, sort of gold line, I do the final line before it's painted. It's a little outlined halo, and I think it gives it life. When I was a child, when I was young, I was very, very active. You know, we had an attic that was finished off, and that was kind of our rainy day playground. I would go upstairs and um, read or sit, just look out at the mountains, the hanging hills of Meriden, and just, just be. So I had this great combination of sort of a meditative childhood as well as this very active childhood. I started noticing several years ago, well, maybe even more than that, but this, this, this insidious device in everyone's hands. Families having dinner in a restaurant and everyone's on a device. I know it's a cliche, but I've actually seen it. And, uh, you know, and I thought, what's wrong with this picture? And I thought, okay, I've got to address this. I want to say to young children, come and be quiet with me. And I'm going to do it, try to do it through the book. Your mind is so busy that you just have to, you have to train it for quiet down. You breathe in through your nostrils. You, you breathe out through your mouth. One, breathe out, two. Can you feel yourself getting quieter? Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Now, the, the other morning, but I thought, you know, I'm just going to practice this and I couldn't get to four. <laughs> The lives of the saints that I maybe will write and illustrate about are universal. It's not about a particular um, rule or regulation. It's about human, humanity, number one, and, and f can be funny. You know, I did a book on St. Francis, and, um, and of course, he's the movie star saint, you know? Uh, it, it, the stories are so wonderful. Of course, I had to do St. Christopher, and I think I did it because he was kicked out of the calendar of the saints. But the story is still a good, good story. But there's always a 
a, a, a point of truth, human truth, right. in those stories of the saints. They, they, they show us our foibles, they show us our, our rewards, uh, they show us what to avoid, what to embrace, you know. And they, I guess they give kids a lot of laughs. Yeah. <laughs>The Giotto frescoes in St. Francis, the Cathedral Basilica of St. Francis, they're, they're, they're picture books. They're picture books. And we forget that that early, quote, liturgical art, art that was used in the liturgy or in the church, was used for teaching and used for meditation. Not just for decoration, which it became later in the Renaissance. I feel myself as part of that family, you know. Um, I haven't done the DNA test, but maybe, wouldn't that be interesting? <laughs> <laughs>